Hello guys, Jacob here, and this is another episode of Into the Vault, a series where I look back on some of my old work and talk about it, I guess. In today's episode, I'll be going off on a bit of a tangent from the previous episode and going through my old art. Originally, I was going to talk about um, the first animation I'd ever done because, um, because I have a lot of footage for it and it relates more to um, the previous episode of Into the Vault, um, which was on game 14. But a couple of people on Twitter wanted to see my old art, so I guess I'll be going through that today. Anyway, in today's episode, I'll be going through the art I had done from 2012 onwards. Because honestly, I tend to throw a lot of my stuff away, and hence most of the stuff I'll be showing you is from the more later years. However, I still remember some things about my earlier art, so let's get into it. Also, I'm really embarrassed about a lot of the things I'm about to show you, so prepare for some cringe as well. In 2012, I began to draw a lot more because it was at this time that I began having more visual arts lessons at high school because it was one of my electives. And to provide some context, um, in year 9, so about 2-3 to three years into high school, um, we would be allowed to pick two subjects that we wanted to do, and these were known as our electives. And the electives I chose were obviously visual arts and um, graphic, desi graphic design. To add to this, I drew a lot more because I happened to be in the same class as the person that many consider to be the best artist in the year, so as a result I became more competitive and drew more because of that. Um, with that aside, I began looking at more artists on Tumblr and finding a lot of my inspiration there. I remember for some time I was really into Skullgirls for some reason and this led me to discover an artist known as Galakas, who ran an ass vlog for one of the game's characters. Um, while I got over Skullgirls because of the bad sense of irony that was apparent in its creative direction, I still followed Galakas and attempted to shape my art style around hers, um, and she had a style which was really similar to graffiti work and made great use of thick outlines and vivid colours and that was what gravitated me towards her work. Um, unfortunately, I failed to um, draw something I like 90% of the time and as such threw a lot of my work from this time away so I don't really have much to show you. Um, sorry about that. Um, the only thing I have to show from this time is a painting that I did as part of an art workshop my school got me to go to. Um, I remember having to do this um, painting over two to three days and having to draw inspiration from a circus act we saw on the first day of the camp um, because we had a theme to follow and so there's that. 2013 was a really weird year for me and honestly probably one of my worst years as an artist. Um, this was the year that I started uploading art on Tumblr um, with the intention of blowing up overnight by drawing edgy fan art and adding as many drug references as I can into my art because at the time I thought being, being edgy was being funny and uh, I cringe when I look back on it. Um, I remember around this time that for some reason I was really obsessed with Australian bad culture which might explain all the edgy references I put in my work and as such made myself an OC who was basically a lad and if you don't know um, a lad is pretty much um, Australia's equivalent of a chav in Britain or I guess a gangster in America and um, but unlike gangsters lads are relatively harmless because all they do is hang around um, hang around train stations and beat up elderly people so yeah um anyway talking about my OC that I did um the funny thing is he wore clothes that I wore in real life as well because when I was designing the character I just looked down at what I was wearing and it happened to go well with it. So I just put the clothes I was wearing onto the character. Um, yeah. So with that I guess you can call the character a self insert um, even though we're polar opposites personality wise. But honestly um, he didn't really have that much of a personality. Um, he was more or less your typical lad slash drogo. Um, to add to this, um, around this time, 2013, we also had a student teacher for art who was in 
to cosplay and as a result we were given an art assignment based around cosplay so pretty much what we had to do was dress up as something take some photos and then talk about the person we were dressed up as um nobody wanted to do this assignment but i ultimately had to um and what i cosplayed as was um a lad because i couldn't afford a costume and all i had to do to be allowed was um, wear a polo shirt with the collar up, um, some shorts, a bum bag, a stallion I to shank people with, and a piece of paper that I um, covered my face with because I hate being on camera. Um, in regards to art style, around this time I began drawing with a simpler style um, because I sucked at art and began doing more digital stuff. However, I didn't get a tablet until much later, so to compensate, my art process involves me drawing stuff on paper and tracing it with a permanent marker and then I'll take a photo of the drawing I did with a copy phone, which at the time for me was a Galaxy S2. Um, then I'll upload the photo onto Photoshop, select the black outlines that I, um, that I, traced, that I traced with permanent marker and then I'll make a new layer of paint over my selection and there's my line art. Um, honestly this technique was pretty dodgy but it surprisingly worked and I was able to use it um, until I got my tablet. Another aspect of my art style around this time was um, spamming gradient and messing around with filters um, as seen in the only artwork that I managed to salvage from this time. Yeah, um, at this time I thought it was good to have as much colour as you can, but colour and saturation as you can, but looking back on it, um, I think I overdid it a bit. Um, while I do not have a lot of artwork because I deleted the Tumblr obviously, I do have some of the graphic design work that I did as part of my graphics class, which was my second elective. Most of the stuff that I did in graphics class were basic things like business cards, pamphlets and a short magazine that I did as part of the first assignment that we received. Um, while I would not delve into it much until much later, it was around this time that I also began to do some animation in the form of a lyric video that was part of an assignment. So in summary, 2013 was a pretty regrettable year for me, but I guess I got to do some craft design work that I really enjoyed and develop my skills with the Adobe programs that I still use today, like Adobe Photoshop and After Effects. So yeah, that was one good thing I got out of 20, 2013, but the rest I, I just look back on and think why did I do the stuff that I did back then. Um, in 2014, I pretty much quit the stuff I was doing on Tumblr because frankly it was stupid. Um, so a lot of the art from this year is mostly school related and had focused a lot on portraits because um, that was one of the major areas we covered during the year. The other area I did was um, landscapes and I hate drawing landscapes. So yeah, um, I also had my HC major work in mind and what the HC work was um, when you reach year 12 which was the last year of high school you have to do this big body of work um, and that makes up 50% of your assessment. Um, a similar case would be for, um, would be in multimedia where we have to do major projects with a folio and that made up 60%. Anyway getting back on track um, as a result of um, Thinking about, thinking about my HC major work and stuff, I began experimenting more with um, inks and watercolors which I wanted to use in my body of work. Um, in saying that, I threw a lot of the original works I had done away at this time, but I do have photos, so um, why don't I just show some of those now? Um, in summary, the um, stuff I did around this time, well, the stuff I'm going to show now is uh, watercolor portraits and sharpie portraits of, of other students that I did as tests, I guess. Um, yeah, um, there's, I also did a lot of um, portraits with um, gouache and permanent marker and other materials like that. So yeah, I'll show them now.
Alongside the porch stuff I was doing for visual arts, I began working on a certain comic page known as Bad Art for Recess. This page was something that I set up on my Facebook on, um, yeah, and had um, used it to post little four panel comics about school related things. Um, I sort of gave up on it after a while, but I did manage to make a grand total of two comics and I still kept the name Bad Art for Recess. Um, which is obviously my YouTube channel now. So yeah, I guess that's a good thing I got from it. In regards to art, 2015 was a pretty big year because it was at this time that I started working on my HC body of work, which is basically the big final work I was talking about before. Um, anyway, it was at this time that I began taking more inspiration from artists like Sack Street, who does um, these gory depictions of doll-like girls and Another artist I was into was Mibu, who was who had a really unique art style and did art about musicians that I really liked. So that was what appealed to me. For the HC, um, we were also made to research artists for our assignments, and as such, I had become a fan of the work by Donna Schultz, who was a Brooklyn-based art artist who. Um, did abstract portraits of people eating themselves and this was um, made into a series known as the Self Eaters. And as a result of all these inspirations and all these artists that I began to follow, a lot of my work around this time was more surreal and gory. So a bit of a warning if you're if you don't like those kind of things, I tried to cut on the more gory stuff that I did. And yeah, so um, yeah, bit of a warning if you're inf if you're offended by those sort of things because I'm going to show them now. One thing I forgot to mention was that I began working on my um, I began working on a graphics tablet which I received on my birthday the year before and it had taken some time before I got used to it. Um, a lot of the art I just showed was actually concept sketches on my HC major work and these were done um, several months after I got my first tablet. With that said, a lot of the early tablet work that I had done looked sort of like this. However, the body of work I produced for the HC was ultimately a canvas based work. So I ended up working with inks and Posca markers with the styles with the styles based on artists that I was inspired by. While the work I intended to produce was about vulnerability and anxiety and stuff, I honestly don't know what the mess I ended up making conveys. I guess um, it was called split personalities and I guess it represents different thoughts and emotions, I don't know, I guess I just stuck stuff on the wall or the camps, should I say, until it stuck. Yeah, um, on the flip side of things, it was in 2015 that I also began my first animation, um, Ghost Patrol, which is a project I need to dedicate another episode or two to because I have a lot of footage for it. But in brief, I had taken inspiration from shows like Gravity Show, um, Gravity Shows, Gravity Falls, and animators like Galtoid, who not only influenced the art style I used, but also the way I would animate um, for Ghost Patrol and even nowadays. Um, with that said, I had drawn with two styles in 2015, um, number one, the art style for visual arts and number um, two the art style for growth control um yeah um but i guess i chose to work upon the style that i used for growth control because it suited animations more and it was overall more simple to do so in summary i've experienced a lot of changes um to my art over the years and honestly i haven't been happy with the stuff I have produced until now, i.e. when I have started this channel, but even then I still need to improve a lot. 
A lot of the stuff I have done from my yesteryears leaves, leaves me embarrassed, but I guess it was an interesting trip down memory lane, which I hope you enjoy. Anyway, thank you for watching um, what would probably be a pretty long video. Um, I want to make more of these into the vault videos and will probably do one on my next animation which has a lot of footage I can go through. But before then, I'd like to say thanks and for watching and I'll see you later.